Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Fire Sprite Nomad. I have got a pretty cool podcast series coming up for you, and it's actually kind of therapeutic for me. Uh, it's going to be basically anything that I think about before I go to bed. Now, as I stare at my ceiling, as I often do, and wonder what's on my mind. Well, to be honest with you, it's weight loss. And I said that kind of sad, but in a good way. Let me explain. I used to be 205 pounds, and I'm sharing this with you just because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are struggling with their weight. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I was 205 pounds, and I weighed myself this morning. I am 189.2. Pretty good, huh? Um, now, let me tell you what happened how I got to 205 and then all the way back to 189. That's about 16 pounds lost. Now, how I lost those 16 pounds, I will get to in just a minute. Um, I used to, ladies and gentlemen, take Depo Shot. Now, for all of you that don't, that don't know what Depo is, basically it is a birth control shot, pretty much. It's not a pill. You go into your doctor, they give you the injection, and it lasts for three months. But the worst side effect of the Depo shot was that not only are your hormones messed up, but you gain a ton of weight. I used to be in my 180s, like, before I got the shot. So, I mean, that's terrible. That's absolutely horrid. That I got to 205, and I thought it was something I was doing, like... It, like, I didn't find out until maybe uh, a year and a half into it about the gaining weight thing. And I thought it was just, you know, the superstitions myth, you know, people are just making stuff up because, you know, it's a new kind of birth control figure. You know, I looked into it a little bit more, looked on the CDC website, and they were still testing it. Now, this I didn't know, so basically I was kind of a guinea pig. <laughs> um, so this weight loss thing came with the Depo shot, and there was nothing you can do to control it. No matter what you ate, it would just add pounds to your body, and it, you could not get it off. And it was about after um, a year that I had stopped taking the shot was when I saw the pounds literally start to melt right off. So in my own decision, I said, let me help my body out. Let me, let me give it a boost. So what I personally did, now this may differ from everybody else, what, what, you know, what, what they want to do with weight loss, but I chose going the all natural route, the organic route, uh, if I could find anything that was soy free or lactose free, I went for it. Absolutely went for it. And it actually had some pretty positive side effects. I mean, how you diet personally may differ a lot from how I diet, but I wanted to try to help my body out personally with things that I knew would be beneficial to my health. And you know, just by eating right, I lost 16 pounds. But, you know, that's that's just my story. You know, you, yours may be different. You know, like you may have a different way of doing things. But I always viewed losing weight as it's not a race. You cannot get from point A to point C without visiting point B. And if you don't, want, if you don't know what that means, it's take baby steps. And let me tell you, I was not the perfect saint <laughs> um, before, and I actually kind of non-gracefully will mention that I was drinking about two liters of cola a day, two to four, okay? And I was shoving my face with sugar, sugar, and more sugar, and lots of lactose. And that is absolutely dreadful if you're trying to lose weight, <laughs> believe me. Um, uh, so I said, you know, this has got to stop. 
something's got to change. I've got to change. I've got to change my way of thinking. I've got to change my taste buds, pretty much. So, I did things a little differently. I started going from all sugar to all natural. But I did it in portions at first because, you know, you, you can't shock a body. You know, that's just unrealistic. You cannot shock a body into, okay, we're doing weight loss and we're doing it now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This way, you don't have cravings as much as you normally would. So I would have like a little piece of chocolate with something that was healthy. You know, but like... When I was doing it, I would cut down as the days went by, as the weeks went by. If I felt like, you know, maybe I'm rushing things a little bit too much, I take a step back, you know. It's what your body feels. It's how you feel. It's, like I said, it's not a race, you know. For me, it was not a race. It was not something that I had to win right away, and I knew that I wasn't going to win right away. But once I started stopping all the soda all the ice cream all the milk that has the lactose in it which actually you know i found out lactose is terrible especially if you're trying to lose weight um because that adds you know body fat to to you you know and i didn't know that but now i do and since knowing that, I I feel better knowing because my body feels better that I'm not ingesting so much. It's okay to take in a little bit of lactose daily, but it's not okay if you're having it like with every meal and then you're having like a big bowl of ice cream. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not healthy. It's not how you were made. It's not how you were built. Um... So I, once I quit with soda, I went directly to yogurt smoothies. Personally, that's just a personal option for me. And it worked out great. And I mean, it was a perfect substitute. It, the only thing I do miss, however, and I, I will admittedly say, is I miss the fizz. I think that's all it is really with soda. It's not really so much the content, it's just the fizz. And a lot of people that I talk to say, yeah, when I quit soda, it was absolutely the fizz. So I know I'm not alone in, in that mindset. Um, and it's just mind over matter, pretty much, because what what is soda? It's high fructose corn syrup, sugar, water, and dye. Pretty much. And that's that's not something you should be really putting into your body in quantities of more than maybe one glass. And I'm not saying that you can't have, you know, junk food or whatever. I mean, have a cheat day. I have a cheat day. It's Friday. <laughs> I mean, like I get to have normal ice cream uh on Friday. But let me let me explain that. Um since I was going the all natural route the lactose-free route, the, the soy-free route, if I could. Um, <clears throat> I went down to the dairy section. And you know the case that has the skinny cows? You, you know what I'm talking about. Like like the all-natural stuff, the, the, the weight loss. It doesn't have lactose in it. Okay, I went to that case. I felt a little self-conscious at first. My very first ice cream I picked out, I'm like, oh my god, people are going to judge me. <laughs> No, people don't judge you. They don't. And, uh, you know, I put it in my cart, rang it out, took it home, had a bite to eat. It, it tasted bland. But that's because I was so used to all the sugar. Over time, that ice cream actually tasted like normal ice cream. But that was over time because your taste buds changed. They, I mean... It's amazing what your body can do. It really is. It's amazing. So instead of having like this full bowl of ice cream, I have this portioned little popsicle stick. You know, and I have trouble with portion. I really do. I've got trouble with portion. So 
you know, like every meal I would start to cut down on what I ate, how much I ate. And now I can only eat about a small bowlful. And the thing that helped me personally was <clears throat> make the plate smaller. Make the plate smaller so you feel like you yourself have accomplished a big meal. And even, you know, once you started that and you were working towards it like a, a few months, put it on a big plate. I bet you won't finish that big plate. I bet you. Because your stomach shrank. You see? It's, it's kind of weird, but it's like in the back of your mind, it's like, okay, you've got to do the math. You have to do the math. You know, you, it's not a race. Your body is a wonderful machine and you've got to feed it the right things. You know, go for the bananas, go, go for the strawberries, the blackberries, go for anything. But most of all, you know, the all natural stuff is where it's at. You know, I tried these all natural sausages because a customer came through my line with them and I said, wow, check this out. She said, you've never seen these before? I said, no. No, I've never seen these. Um, do they taste good? She goes, yeah. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to just buy them. So I, after my shift was over, I clocked out. I went and I bought them, took them home. These sausages are the only sausages I can eat. I'm not even joking you. Any other sausage would burn my stomach. These all natural ones, they stay in my stomach. And they don't burn either way, <laughs> you know? I mean, to me, that's amazing. To me, that's absolutely amazing. And, you know, if if maybe my words could help you, maybe. Um, you know, I took, I started taking multivitamins. I started taking energy supplements. I took uh, B12s, which is metabolism which occurs naturally in your, in your system, I'm just giving it a boost. You know, I mean, you don't have to go the pill route. I mean, it's dangerous to go the pill route. You know, don't do anything without doctor's consultation. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't. Um, visit your doctor first. You know, explain to him or her about what you want to do and see if your decision is going to be right for you. That way your doctor and you are on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I started doing those. And even feeding myself vitamins. You know, you're giving your body the right fuel. You're not giving it the wrong fuel. That's all it boils down to. And just by eating right, I lost 16 pounds. I still can't believe that. But, you know, until, you know, when not eating right isn't working for me anymore, that's when I'm going to up the ante. That's when I'm going to start jogging and running and doing crunches, maybe accepting a gym member. If <laughs> I can talk, I promise. <laughs> Give me some slack. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Even a gym membership, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not a race. Just when something no longer starts to work, when eating right is no longer helping me lose weight and I'm stuck, you know, at a certain weight and I, it won't go down anymore, I'm all going to take up running. I'm just, I'm going to do it. So there's that. And I think I might want to end this vlog because it is getting kind of long and I don't want to start repeating myself, so you guys have a wonderful night. And if you have any comments or questions or, you know, just your own story, let me know in the comments below. I mean, I really want to hear about it. I mean, this is the thing that keeps me up at night, at least tonight anyway. Um, I've been meaning to talk to you guys about it for a while, and I just never got around to it. I've been busy, but here it is. So um, I hope you had a wonderful time listening to this podcast, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone.